Hello, scuba and sushi fans, and welcome back to Dave the Diver. In the last episode, we went ahead and took on a great white shark. We also got our farm to be doing more now. And we have a new VIP customer coming in. So, lots going on. Let's see what we can get up to in this episode. First things first, I am going to look for sharks because we need those for the shark party that we're going to have. Didn't really need that brown seashell. I will get rid of it if I need to at a point. Ooh, these guys though I do need. I don't think I actually have to collect them, I just have to knock them down. Thresher shark here. There we go. Send him up to the surface, definitely. We are going to prioritize the more unique sharks to send up to the surface, not so much the... Uh, Mako was very challenging. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're gonna prioritize the unique sharks, not so much the uh, basics like long nose saw shark, tiger, and the uh, white tipped reef. a brown seashell. Let's get rid of those right off the bat. Alright. Didn't need that one, so that's good. I said, with these guys, I think I can just kill them and it works. And I really would prefer not to catch them. Oh, another Mako. Not the greatest thing. Alright, well that worked. Definitely want to send him up because of the fact I don't want to deal with him. Unfortunately, that means I am going to have to deal with the uh, hammerhead if I find it. I'm gonna also need some uh, ammo here soon. There we go. Maybe some cat food over here? No, oh, just some olive oil. Alright, though. And these puffers actually have turned out to be a good thing for me as well. I think I need this to go along with it.
Alright, nothing up there. It's almost used up anyways. I really don't want you. Don't need or want the lionfish. I'll take the saw shark for now. Shark is where it starts adding up in a hurry as far as the weight. fish if I can just avoid it. Not gonna be able to avoid it though. Fine. Get here. Go away. I think I have to kill one more of these. Yep. I don't need him though, so let's just throw him away. I think that works. We'll have to see when we get back up and see about the Echo Watcher. All these fish are like, oh my god. What is he doing to Bob? <laughs> Instead, just so we've got it at full. Not an enormous difference by any means, but you know, we'll still keep it. I've been thinking about the fact I do probably need to expand my rice patty. So once I harvest it this time, I think I'll go ahead and expand it. That way, I'll be able to. Uh, get more rice each three days. High quality cat food for Mochi. Perfect. I did forget to feed Mochi yesterday there. Feel a little bit bad about it. But I'm sure Mochi will understand.
Dwarf Sea Harris isn't even worth carrying. Alright. Should have a tiger shark? No, it's all shark down here. Lots of saw shark today. And I will throw some away if I need to make room for other things. If there's anything worthwhile in here, maybe a sailfish. Perhaps a hammerhead. With that in mind, I definitely better put the gun out. Oh, there are more of those crabs. I haven't seen a use to them yet, so I'm not going to pick them up this time. But. gonna keep in mind that they exist oh they can jump yeah I will keep in mind that they exist um, and see what they're good for if anything any sailfish Barracuda. Oh, there's a sailfish. Ow! Alright, I actually have a problem now. That was annoying. get this ammo too. Right, they are very annoying crabs. <laughs> yeah, I'm just not gonna even risk it with you. You're just going away. actually worked out very badly for me. I may actually have a serious problem this time. There's probably going to be a tiger shark down here and I cannot afford to mess with him right now. All right, there is an oxygen here. That went about as bad as I could have ever expected it to. <laughs> Luckily I had the transport so I could get around fast enough for it. Did I leave a transport over here? Yes, I can pick it up now. Good Lord, that went bad. No, all right. Oh, there was a teleport, or a escape pod there, should I have needed it, but still. Could not have imagined that was going to go that level of bad on me. It was a silly sailfish that was the one that did it, too. Uh, you know what? I don't want that 
set of bullets yet because I will probably be back down this way. Another saw shark, and I really just don't need another saw shark. Let's get this oxygen and let's go into the deep. Before we have any other mistakes that happen. <laughs> because that was definitely a mistake that almost cost us badly. Not gonna worry about the jellyfish. That's one that I needed or not. It doesn't look like it is, but it's not that heavy. So I think I'll take it for now. I'd rather have the oxygen than the trigger bombs. Captured him. Not need a grenade launcher. the rubber chicken. Not gonna get that oxygen just yet. Hey, you know what? Let's use one of those. this for a second because I think I'm one achievement away or one uh, fish killed away with this thing from an achievement so yeah that caught perfect don't like the gun much prefer my tranquilizer rifle but get that achievement get it out of the way Oh boy.
Alright. So now let's just head down to the Sea People Village. We got everything I could want. I mean, I would love to find the opal that they're wanting. But you know what? It's probably not going to be the trip for that. oxygen I left over here and then we'll dive down through the hole. Don't actually think I'm gonna need this other oxygen, so let's go ahead and use this instead. Make our trip a bit faster considering how heavy we are. And we got oxygen back anyways. Works out great. You can see what the seaweed farmer is doing down here too. Looks like somebody has a task for me. just become so expansive that there are so many different things to do and I'm not complaining about that at all. I really love the fact that it does that. Alright, spider crab. We'll go ahead and accept the mission. And fang tooth. Okay. Yeah, we can defeat them. We defeat them most of the time when we're coming through. Alright, we can deliver that one and be done with that challenge. Perfect. Alright. 
Let's start talk to this guy and see what's going on with the seaweed situation. Oh, human, the seaweed farm is ready. I see you got some seaweed seeds. Want to try planting them? Yes. Yes, I do. You can cultivate many different seaweeds at Cuomo's farms. Seaweed seeds are available for purchase at Godzin's Seed Shop. So we've got that planted. Probably get another seed. That way we can have two growing. Because I think that'll help out our sushi restaurant, which will be a good thing. I'll get the different ones here first, and that way I can... Uh, have them unlocked as far as recipes and such and then we'll see what's good overall. Takes a little bit to get across here, but you know what? It is worth it. And part of the problem is I'm just so overweight, but that is also worth it to me because I have the uh, all those good shark pieces that I got. Alright, let's see the seed shop here. We got sea grape seeds, agar seeds, kajimi seeds. I think we planted the seaweed seeds. Yeah. So let's just start at the top and go with, uh, we have sea grapes. We do sea grapes all the time. But now he can make them for us. So basically what this does is I don't have to go find the plants anymore. I see. All right. So actually, yeah, let's go ahead and do the uh, sea grape. All right, so this will work out great. So then I don't have to worry about plants in the water anymore. I can focus on my fish. I wonder if there's going to be a sea urchin farm at some point. You know what? Let's go ahead and spend the money. I don't feel like waiting. We're going to go a little spend happy there and... Him to get us all the way over here nice and fast. Alright. That'll work out fine. So we've got those two growing. Same thing there, we will expand our area. Alright. No, I don't know if it's a good idea to go in here with having as much stuff on me as I do. The more I think about it, you know what? I'm not going to. I don't want to risk uh, losing my stuff because I get eaten by some Gadon or something like that. So, we're just going to head up to the surface. Thank you for the ride. Oh, I should have gotten rid of those two while I was down there. That is my fault. All right, let's go ahead and keep those. Bunch of good ingredients here. Perfect. Okay, crops are grown, so let's go to the farm and harvest them.
Harvest completed. Alright, so we don't have to really do anything there yet. Those crops are not ready to go, evidently. I am going to spend the money to expand the rice paddy. Alright, I'll slightly expand the rice paddy after the next harvest. But we just harvested, so hopefully you'll expand it before the next harvest. Let's go to the uh, fish farm because I do want to spend some money on expanding these, I think. Actually, you know what? I don't really want to expand them. No, just not willing to. Sushi restaurant because we do have to feed mochi. We have these points now, so let's go ahead and also get the white shark omelette. Which we will of course save for the shark party. I think that's a new one. Very cool. Alright, so we got that. These all cost more mo points than we have. You know what, that's fine. I do want that seahorse udon at some point so I can start serving the seahorse I don't want to keep. <laughs> Pet Momo, perfect. And then we'll feed Mochi, because Mochi's hungry. We got some high quality cat food for you this time, Mochi. There you go. Then to see the adorable face. Oh, so happy. Sleepy kitty. Alright, so that was a bit of a faster one this time. Yes, we didn't do the stuff at the Sea People Village. We have these growing. They will hopefully be ready in a couple days here. Seems like the nutrients are pretty good there. So, alright, we will leave those alone. We have to deliver or we have to kill fang toots and uh, kill spider crabs. Those aren't too hard to do. But for now, I think I'm going to go ahead and end things here. If you enjoyed what I did in this episode, just go ahead and click that like button. If you've not already, please subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, so they're aware when I produce new videos in the future. Thank you, and I hope to see you all again for more Dave the Diver.